and now you're coming here, and because you're a four-year player, you know, there's not as you mentioned before, not the upside, and everybody's obsessed with that. Do you ever get sick of being an underdog? No, nah, man. This is just this is a beautiful thing. I got a lot of, I got a lot to improve on myself. Um, I'm not out here to prove anybody. I go out there and just do what I have to do. Um, at the end of the day, if I feel as I need to work on something, I'm going to do it. Um, no one else has to tell me. Um, of course, you can tell me, but at the end of the day, uh, I'm probably already working. Uh, that's just how I am. I'm never satisfied with but I, with my play, I always feel like there's something I can do. Last question here, guys. So, um, you know, it's just a journey that I'm ready to um, attend. Piggyback, oh, go ahead. Piggyback off what he just said, have you always been like an underdog in life as far as Yeah, just... yeah, definitely. I always, I always had to prove myself. Um, you know, coming where I, where I came from, it was, it was rough. And um, nothing was kind of given to you. You had to take it. So I'm happy that I've always been that underdog. Because um, every time I step on the court, uh, I have some yeah. proof to myself. Um, I, I go out there and, and I expect a lot of good things for myself. I, um, a lot of guys, are, uh, when, they, when, they come to, when it comes to playing against me, they're kind of nervous. You know, I'm, I'm not a guy that's going to be nervous no, no matter if you're the number one player in the country or you're the, uh, the worst player in the country. I feel as though I'm going to go after you as, as if you are. You know, because I, I have to see where I'm at. Competing with myself, not with nobody else. Last question for the documentary. Let your fans know, like, who is Shabazz Napier off the court? I mean, we know you're from Roxbury, Massachusetts, and all of that. I mean, we're yeah, about man, the I'm same just, age. Uh, just tell of, us what, what 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 kind of stuff is Shabazz into? Things of that nature. I'm kind of just a homebody guy, you know. I, I enjoy life. Um, I, uh, I don't do a lot of uh, just basketball talk. That's kind of I rather just be just you know enjoying life. You know, have, hanging out with friends. Um, it's just uh, you know one thing I like doing is fishing. Um, not a lot of guys know that. Really. Um, so it, it just, you know, I'm just, a, I'm just a regular guy. You know, I don't want to be treated as somebody special um, because I feel, like I said, I feel as though this is a blessing. Um, it's a gift from God, and my, it's, it's my gift to give back um, as much as I can to those who are in my position and who are, uh, you know, less fortunate than I am. Um, so I, I'm just happy I'm, I'm in this position to, to understand, and understand that um, it's a blessing. And what kind of advice would you give to anybody out in Boston right now that see you now? Went to um, school four years, all you know, of that, and now you you're know, in the NBA. The day, um, just advice to anybody, you know, when you when you get hit with a lot of obstacles in life, um, the easiest thing to do is to quit. Um, but you got to understand, you got to jump over the hurdles. Um, it's definitely the light at the end of the tunnel, and you got to believe in yourself like nobody else. Um, you got to believe that you can run through ten brick walls. Um, it, it's just something that you, you have to do. You know, um, many obstacles are going to come in your life. You got to decide whether or not you're going to fail uh, or you, you're going to succeed over. All right, we'll see you in New York City. Thank you so much. You're